Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this uh, picture and asked how to trace it. I'm going to try to trace it. I've already found an anchor that will be pretty close. I think the easiest way is just going to be redraw it. So with the item selected, if you'll go to the crop tool and crop out that excess part of the picture, make sure you get it all. And then you've got a crop. We'll try to trace it. I don't think it's going to work very well. We'll resample it, put it at 300 dots per inch. And since it's black and white, we don't have to turn it to a bitmap. We can just outline trace it, clip art, reduce bitmap because it's a pretty good size. And we'll try to trace it. But the rope, I would not engrave this. It doesn't uh, do anything for me. And I might have to take a couple of videos to do one and then do the rope and whoop didn't mean to do that zoom in here and see it's got a lot of grays and garbage and stuff so it's going to be easier just to redraw this thing you know, I've already got an anchor so we wanted the approximate size so I'm going to start off by drawing some ellipses or circles and I'm going to press P and put it at the center of the page. Our logo is almost in the center of the page. Holding down the shift key, I'm going to drag it out. And then I'm going to set my nudge factor on something pretty little, 0 0.025 or 0 0.02 will work. And then I'm going to get the circle kind of equal to the other circle. And it is. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate holding down the shift button so it'll grow from the center. So now we've pretty much got it. I'm going to take our logo away for a second, and I'm going to hit P and put both those in the center of the page. So now we're working uh, with equal circles. I'm going to move my anchor over here for a little bit. And if you're engraving this, uh, they used a... Uh, stencil type font we don't have to do that uh, this is pretty easy and I'm gonna make one without the rope and then I'm gonna make another video with the rope so we're gonna take this anchor and if we're gonna try to make it kind of look like the other one we want it about the same uh, angle then I'm gonna hit P put it at the center of the page I'm gonna click off of it and I'm going to hold down the shift button and just make whoop I grab the circle Need to grab the the anchor. Nope. Still grabbing that. Let's go take that object in order and put it at the back of the page. That way, when we do this, we'll just grab the anchor. Let's hold down the control button so it just grows. Well, don't do that. Hold down the shift key to just kind of grow it. And then hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm not real happy with that uh, angle. It doesn't look like so let's just move it kind of more in the center. And you can see that over here, the tip's touching and the, and the part of the O is touching. So now what we can do is take it and left click, right click. And then we're going to make the anchor part of the drawing. And to do that, we're just going to take our virtual segment delete key that's underneath the crop. And it didn't trace as well as I thought. I'm going to, I would actually redraw that. But if we do that, That'll make everything black. We can go through there. Let's zoom in here a little bit. So I wanna, yeah, uh, I would redraw that anchor. It's just got a little bit there and a little bit here. And then when we fill this in with black, uh, the anchor will be part of the drawing, as you see. But we don't wanna do that yet. We wanna draw these lines. And all they are is, is uh, small rectangles that are rounded edges. So we'll go up here with our ratio lock. Let's kind of zoom in here so we can see what it looks like. We'll just start clicking up until we get round uh, objects. Now there's two sets and they're not equally proportioned. Um, you know, they're not at any, they're done for the wordage. So let's turn this, let's take it over here. 
because it does look pretty good. We want to use the original drawing. Mine are going to be a little bit thicker, a little bit too long probably. So we can always, and it's hard to scale when you're at an angle, but we can scale it and put it right on top of that other one. We'll go ahead and control D and make a duplicate and put it over here. Now, I'm gonna get rid of my yellow box for a second. I'm gonna grab those two, control D, and then I'm gonna mirror them the opposite direction and I'm going to move them over and then hold down the control button. Now I'm gonna grab all four of them, control D, mirror them the other way and grab that X and then hold down the control button and put them right there. Now for the video, I'm not taking a lot of time. Now let's grab our logo and let's move it out of the way. Let's make it about five inches. Take our logo and move it out of the way. And now you see that we have these. So let's group them together and then hit P, put them in the center of the page. And we've got that part done. So now when we fill in with black, with the Smart Fill tool, we'll get that. That's pretty cool. So the black will engrave, the white will not, because there's nothing there. But we're still not done and, and it's got some uh, like extra nodules, like I guess where the rope is banded to it. So what we can do now, and because we've got these grouped together, I'm gonna ungroup this. Control U for ungroup. I'm gonna grab these two and group them together. But then I'm gonna make a duplicate. I'm gonna move them out of the way. And I'm going to rotate them where they're back kind of perpendicular so we can scale them a little easier. So we're just gonna make them a little longer. Now what I'm gonna do is ungroup them, control U, and I'm gonna hit B for put them at the bottom of the page to make them equal, because when we did that, when we skewed them, control G to group them together. And now it'd be nice if we knew this angle, but if we don't, but we can put them over here and get them pretty close. So we're gonna put them right there and we're a head long. So let's just put it here and let's reduce them a little bit. And then double click on it and rotate them. Now we can take our nudge factor and set a little lower, 0 0.02. And let's just take them and nudge them kind of where we want them. That looks pretty good. Control D and make a duplicate and mirror them. Holding down the control button, they should go right to that other spot. Now I'm gonna click on that one. Holding down the shift key, I'm gonna click on that one. And I'm gonna group them together, control G. And then I'm gonna go control D and make a duplicate and I'm gonna mirror them the other way. Grabbing that X and start moving them down. And voila, we pretty much have it. Now I'm gonna, for a second, I'm gonna ungroup everything. And I need to do, uh, probably the easiest thing would be to take these inner circles, and that's the outer circle, but to grab that inner circle, let's, let's make our nudge factor two inches. Let's grab the outer ones and move them out. Grab the outer ones and move them out. Grab the outer ones and move them out. And I'm using the nudge distance. So now I wanna, Control G and group these all together. I'm just selecting on both. Control G, Control G. Now I'm gonna take the shift tool and select all these. And you can see down here, I've got four objects. I'm just gonna nudge by the way. Now I'm gonna nudge this one back. Nudge this one back, hitting the left arrow key, left arrow key twice, right arrow key tw twice. <clears throat> and I'm gonna delete these lines, taking the virtual segment delete key, I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna, all I'm doing is making these nodules. And I'm not taking a great deal of time to make sure they're perfect. And you might want to when you're doing it for your real drawing. 
But what's going to happen now is we're going to get these colors. And I definitely, I mean, just looking while I'm doing this, I can see that the anchor is pretty well messed up. Well, we got the nudge factor still set on the same, so we can move, move it back up. Now, when we bring in the Smart Fill tool, voila. I'm actually going to break this up in another video, and we're going to put the text in the next one. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.